Ain't nobody got time for that. It wouldn't be a new F1 game launch weekend if I didn't have a massive race on Monaco to shout about. Away we go then from last on the grid towards turn one and we are all... Oh, there's contact already. That's a spinning out Williams as we go towards turn one. This is relatively clean going in P17. That's past two drivers, past three drivers, past four, five, six drivers. That's the most amazing first corner I've ever seen. I've gone from 17th to 9th without crashing anyone off. Oh, that is absolute the stuff of dreams. If first corners gave people erections, everyone watching would have one now. That is literally from 17th to 9th, cleanly, on Monaco. Is that not just the most amazing first corner you've ever seen? Well, I think it deserves an applause. So I'm going to edit one in. <laughs> anyway, we carry on now down towards the, uh, the, the hairpin. Uh, and this is obviously the slowest corner on an F1 track, but uh, that didn't stop the Toro Rosso ploughing on, did it? <laughs> He's gone flying straight into the wall. Um, it's amazing. I've still got as little damage to the car as I have, but uh, I'm, I'm more than happy to, to go along with that as we uh, plough through the tunnel. Obviously, as you may have noticed, well, if you haven't noticed, I'd see a specialist, but uh, you may have noticed that it's uh, Monaco at night. So that's fun. Oh, you've just... Barge me out the way then, that's fine. That's me down in P10. Um, I don't know who that was, but that was very rude. Um, but yeah, you may have noticed it's Monaco at night time. And you also may have noticed it's just pure chaos. Chaos everywhere. Me facing the wrong way. That's a big crash. And that's uh, that's a tyre that's gone for a walk. And uh, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure tyres should be attached to cars and not just strolling through the streets on, them, on their own. So I can only assume that's been an extremely bad night. For, uh, for one of the other cars. <laughs> I'm last in P13. What that essentially means is seven cars haven't survived the first lap here. Um, okay, well, I am kind of depressed that I'm last after I overtook seven cars on lap one, but uh, I'm not anymore because, well, I'm up to P11, but someone else is out, so there's only now 12 cars in the lobby. I also have a lack of a front wing, so my turning circle is similar to that of a cruise ship. Um... If, uh, if my car was the Titanic, it would hit the iceberg at this point. Um, is that too soon? Is it too soon for Titanic jokes? Probably not. It was, happened over 100 years ago now. Um, but anyway, we're going through the hairpin, and it's lap two out of three. <coughs> and we're approaching the tunnel. Things are going reasonably badly. Oh, I'm upside down, and that's... I'm out. That's a big crash. <laughs> So much so, it's ended my race. Well, that's that then. That's that's my that's my launch weekend Monaco video. Massive crash, loads of overtakes. Race over. Into spectator mode now, and there's a bit of an entertaining fight for P2 here between the Ferrari and the Renault. The Renault's looking like he's going to struggle to get by here, but oh, he's absolutely banged on him there. Bit of a corner cut, but I think we'll forgive that, given how much of a cool overtake it was. And it's an absolute snappy P2 for the Renault. Fair play to him. Fair play. That was a decent move. Um, but that's that. I didn't finish. I, I, I didn't finish the race. I, I, I was out. I lost. But that was an exciting Monaco launch weekend race to the standard that you'd expect. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it because uh, it was really good fun. Thank you for watching and goodbye.